Hello everybody, and welcome to my, to part two of my Pokemon Emerald nu Nuzlocke challenge. And in the last episode, we got our starter Pokemon and caught Wormy and Wingle in routes 101 and 103, respectively. Um, this is the second time I'm recording this because I'm an idiot and last time f forgot to change my recording like the the microphone recording to my microphone and it didn't record my voice so yeah and that's our first regular trainer besides our rival battle but we can catch a new Pokemon in this route so let's see what it is and it's a Poochiana level 3 male um, see if we can catch this, absorb it, see how much that does, oh, that was a great one, great, um, you know, I really don't mind, I'm not too broken up about it, as you can see, I don't, I've used Poochiana, like, in one of my run-throughs of Gen 3, and he's alright, he's not terrible, but he, I don't really like him. Not a, not the biggest. F I mean, Mighty Anna's design is pretty cool, but I don't know. He's just not one of my more favorite Pokemon. And we are starting our first regular trainer battle with the youngster Calvin, and he is going to send out a level five Poochyanna. And I just have I want to have Golly out to get him some training because. Teleporter is actually a very good Pokemon. He has actually a very good typing defensively. Well, not really defensively, but like gives him a resist a immunity ground, which is very nice, and a resist resistance to fighting, which is also very helpful because he is physically defensive. I'll um I'm actually going to start doing a um, character bios on the side of my uh, layout. I should have a layout on my video this time. If I don't, then within the next few videos. Um, yeah. Palper. Well, Wingle is, uh, is more of a fast. He's not... He's, he's just fast. He's not really like a fast anything. As you can see, his best stat is speed by like two points, and I guess his special attack is all right too. Um, but Pelipper is a uh, he. He has, he has very well, not very good, but good defensive stats. So that'll help him. But if my Wingle gets to that point, then I will have a bio of him and mild nature is actually good for him because that raises your oh I know that's not good for him it raises your special attack but lowers your defense but I can't really do anything about that because it's a uh, nuzlocke challenge naive nature that's really good for tree kill actually it raises his speed and lowers his special defense and Wormple is relaxed natured which raises your Special defense, I believe. I it's it's one of the defenses. I know that, or it's neutral. Not exactly sure. I just know it's not one of the uh, attacking ones like speed, attack, or special attack. We hope to see you again. I, I never understood why they say that coming out of a hospital. That's like, that'd be so hurtful if somebody said that to me when I was like checking out of the hospital or something. And they're like, uh, we're glad you feel better. We hope to see you again. That's just like, no, I don't want to come back. No. Well, we are battling Bugcatcher Rick now, who has a little full Wormple mail and we're going to send out our wingle to get some more training and like i said i'm probably not going to be using wormhole 
eh, because I don't. Uh, his evolution just, I don't know, to me, they're just not good. Butter, I mean, not Butterfree. Beautiful Eye is way too frail for my liking, and it doesn't have the greatest speed and special attack to uh, really counter that. And especially in a Nuzlocke challenge, you don't want something that's really frail and then can't kill things in one hit because Butterf I mean, Beautifly's best stat is special attack, but it's still not good. Now we took out that Warpult, and now he has another one. No, not Warpult. And sorry, I just got a text the box to check it. Um, Warpult, by the... If we kill this, then uh, Wingle should grow to level 4. Ow. One more pound in that Wingle should be finished. I don't know, I could take the time to talk about things that have been going on, like, uh,. Pokemon X and Y that got uh, announced, and uh, I don't know. I, I like all three three of the starters. Um, some people are saying that uh, they don't like them, but I don't know. I I think they're cool. Uh, my I I don't think I could choose a least favorite, but my favorite is probably Chessman because I I usually like grass starters, and I don't know. He just he just looks cool. So, Youngster Allen challenges us to a battle, sending out his evolver for Zigzagoon, and we're going to send out Trico to take this thing. Not growl. Anything but growl. I'll just use Absorb. Oh yeah, and... I don't know, I, I found Emerald to be cool because they brought back the, um, like the moving, the movement of the sprites in the beginning. Like, you know when a Pokemon comes out, how Trico does his, like, little hop around thing? Like, the actual sprite itself doesn't move, but, like, as a whole, it moves around. And, uh, I mean, I remember in Crystal, they had actual moving sprites which I thought was really cool and I don't know why they got rid of it in M Ruby M and Ruby and Sapphire. So and I don't know, I remember people are saying how Emerald was the first Pokemon game to have something have the sprites move. Oh wait no, it does they do move in this game. Duh. I was just being stupid. Uh I remember how when it first came out, people were saying that it was the first to do that, and I was like, N no, you're, that's not the first time it's done this. It was in Crystal, but they just got rid of it. But that was me, like, ten years ago now, I think? Yeah. I think ten years. Maybe nine? Not sure. But with that, when we were to five... <coughs> Sorry, my voice is like scratchy. So, we only get $48, but that doesn't really matter. Found two Orange Berries, and we can pick them. You can do the, uh, like, berry planting in this game. I just never do it because I always forget to come back to the berries, and then it's like, oh no, no berries for me. I just wasted my berries. Um, my heal up. Yeah, I'm actually pretty good. And she saw me anyway. I was gonna try to sneak around her, but no. Guess not. Last Tiana send out the Zigzagoon. Uh, Gullet might actually be able to take this. But, you know, 
I'll give you a shot, goalie. I'll give you a shot. Oh, wow. Nice. That actually did a lot of damage. Shroomish. Um, I wish you had wing attack, but sadly you don't. to tackle me and uh yeah so sorry again uh i actually need to heal up and i'm going to put warmful in the pc because i don't want to carry its heavy body around in my bag. Um, oh, yeah, that was wrong. Deposit you into box one. And, I mean, now is a good time as ever to make the death box. Name it Death. So, when a Pokemon dies, you have to... Oh, wait, wait. Because then if I catch a Pokemon, it will go to the death box. Um, if you... If one of your Pokemon is killed in battle, rolls of the Nuzlocke, meaning that you have to put him in the death box for all of eternity, and... Yeah. Oh, wait, forgot. We have to go again. Hiya! Are you maybe a rookie trainer? Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check what kind of gym is in the town. Yeah. See? This is Petalburg City's gym. This is a gym sign. Look for it whenever you're looking for a gym. And it says, GYM. And so does the wall. Well, if it isn't. So you're all finished moving in? I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. By yourself. Oh, I see. You're with your Pokemon. Hmm. Then I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, Evan. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm. You're, uh, oh, right. You're Wally, right? I'm going to go stay with my relatives in Vandenberg Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm. I see. Evan. You heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Wally, here, I'll loan you my Pokemon. Wally, Wally received the Zigzagoon. Oh, wow, a Pokemon. Hmm, I'll give you a Pokeball, too. Go for it. Wally received a Pokeball. Oh, wow, thank you. Emma, would you really come with me? Sure. This is actually the first Pokemon game to have a father figure in it, I mean, if I'm not mistaken, besides Ruby and Sapphire, of course, but, uh, yeah, because I'm pretty sure, I know for a fact Red Blue Yellow didn't have a father in it, I'm pretty sure, uh, Gold, Silver, Crystal didn't either, so, yeah, this is actually the first one, and I'm pretty sure the only one, yeah, pretty sure. I, just, I can't remember if Diamond Pearl you had one. And Wally, the lucky little son of a gun, has, finds a Ralts, his first Pokemon in the route. But, and, yeah, and I'm pretty sure, this, I know for a fact, this is the rarest Pokemon in the route in Emerald. I know in Ruby and Sap, I don't know if it was both Ruby and Sap, but I know at least one of them, you could find a Surskip here. But it was like 1% chance. And he calls back. Calls back. But yeah. The Ralts is the rarest thing in this route. And I'm pretty sure you can only catch Ralts in two routes in the game. I'm pretty sure that's the number. But um, don't quote me. 
and he catches the routes because he's lucky. I did it. It's my my Pokemon. Thank you. Evan, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So, did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Evan, thank you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Oh, my mom's waiting for me. I have to, so I have to go. Bye, Evan. See you later, Wally. Now, Evan, if you want to become a po become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City, beyond this town. There, you should challenge a gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood. Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, but that's only after you become stronger. I'll come back, Dad, and I'll beat you. I'll beat your butt with my super strong Pokemon if I don't lose by then. Hopefully I won't, but... Oh, wait, am I fully healed? No, I'm not fully healed. So... Heal up real quick. And I hate how they say we hope to see you again. I hate it. Uh, this guy. Bye. I don't have any Pokeballs, I don't think. Oh, no, not more. Ten. So we get a free Premier Ball, because, yeah, pro. Um, two potions. And... An antidote. Two antidotes. And two paralyzed heals. And a six moon print mail to be held by Pokemon. No. Uh we could afford a repel, but I, one repel doesn't really do anything for you. Let's go! Excuse me, let me guess. In the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Yes, yes I am. Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer, or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the lands in search of, a, of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. It's no problem. That guy's actually a, a reoccurring character that you see many times during your journey through Hoenn. But... Now we can catch the first bow on this route. So I'm gonna lead off with Gully, try to weaken it. And the first Pokemon is another Poochina. That I really don't want. So you know, I'll kill it, I guess. I'm actually going to go see catch Pokemon in Calvert Woods now because I can go skip the few trainers and uh, they'll help me out in the long run because that Pokemon will be able to get more training from the trainers for that. So, yeah, I, that, I actually do that in Nuzlocke a lot. I'll like go ahead a few routes and catch the Pokemon there. So, if I find anything good that I want to use, uh, I'll have trainers to be able to train off of. And until she looks away. So, Pelver Woods has actually a nice variety of Pokemon. I think it's like the most versatile first, like, not for, ver most versatile route that you can, that we've visited yet. And first Pokemon of first bush is another one. Great. Just great. Um, all water gun. You know, I guess I'll catch you. Level five, so can't really hurt. Oh yeah, I want to switch my moves. You do that by pressing select and, uh, and then clicking where you want to switch it. In case you didn't know that. Pro. Oh come on, really, really. 
I actually decide to catch it, and no, no, it dies, which is great. Well, I'm going to head back, and then end the episode there. Run, no. Ah, oh, see, I would have loved a marrow. I would have absolutely loved a marrow. Well, as long as I had a huge power, because, I mean, Thick Fat is on bad ability in itself, but for Marrow, it's pretty, pretty bad. Now, run this way. So, heal up here, and, uh, in the next episode, we will go through Petalberg Woods, and... Uh, possibly make it up to Rust Barrow. Depends on how much we cover in the next episode. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all then.